tell us what's going to happen in the next five years? Will we be able to stay here? I said, some of us might want to go now. We cannot tell you the plan. here today and my well is 25% gas. Since January 1st when my well blew, I have been able to drink it. I've been buying it and I'm on a fixed income and you know they wouldn't even bring me a bottle of water. When Norma, you know, threw her arms up in the air and said, I, I live on a, a fixed income, you know, I'm a widow and I'm hauling and buying water. What am I going to have to do uh, to get water? Will I have to sue you? And uh, Attorney Komorowski said, you, yeah, you can, but you lose. Another story that I had heard about, what, but wasn't uh, really uh, uh, aware of the whole story, one of the members of our group had witnessed a tanker uh, spewing on a road, and he did try to uh, get the license plate, and, but it was evening, and we had heard that report, but he addressed it to Cabot, and they denied it and said that could not be. They were not uh, spewing anything on the roads other than fresh water, yet we've had black, foamy, oily um, stuff on the road that certainly is not fresh water. Uh, so when I he did a town hall meeting in Montrose last week and you know I knew about it. I really didn't plan on attending but a couple of people in the uh, neighborhood called me and said would you go with us and I met them over at the courthouse. I wanted to know if you felt the drilling was still um, being done safely. Was the, if the drilling was being done safely here. He said that he was waiting for the science to determine what had happened out here. I'm pretty stunned by that statement since we already have a consent order and we have documentation from our Department of Environmental Protection stating that the methane migration was caused by Cabot and that well casings and cement had failed and there were a number of issues. But he seemed to totally discount DEP's findings and he said he would wait for science to prove all of this. Checklist to get a permit. In that checklist to get a permit to drill a well, you have to notify the landowners that are within a thousand feet that have a water supply from where that gas well is going to be. A number of us were not notified. There's supposed to be documentation. There's supposed to be signatures on maps that we were notified. They're not there. So you've tried to put pressure on the company, on the state, um, on you, you work federally. Where do you think the most important place for people to use whatever power they have? Who should they push the hardest on? Well, DEP has always said um, we can't regulate if we don't have the law. So you have to put the pressure on your elected officials. 